Well, it's getting near summertime. Let's talk penny loafers. So what you have uh, in front of you here, starting from the left, is the Allen Edmonds Patriot. That's on what they call the 606 last, which uh, fits pretty well, at least for me. Um, it's going to be a little bit tighter here at the top of the shoe, sort of over your arch. Um, so I don't know how that, you know, if, if you have difficulties in that area, that may be something to check out. I find that they stay on the foot very well. And all of these, by the way, are in either burgundy or number eight shell cordovan, number eight in the case of the shoe on the right there, the album. So this, these Patriots are made in the, the burgundy shell cordovan that Allen Edmonds currently produces, which is the standard burgundy coming from Horween that they dye with a little bit of a purplish tint. These are getting ready to go through their third summer, so some light wear there on the sole of the shoe and the heel. Uh, these, like all of the Allen Edmonds Shell Cordovan shoes, come with the J. Rendenbach soles, which last really well. Um, they're, I believe, considered to be the best soles that are out there and available. You can sort of see these are made to go sockless. You see the area in the heel with the nice suede section. Um, and then you can see that the, the inside of the shoe kind of gets the standard Allen Edmonds treatment. Now interestingly on these Patriots they do insert a heel pad which is new. Uh, a lot of the Allen Edmonds shoes do not include that as you can see with these Randolphs. So that's probably another indication that these are made to to wear either with thin socks or perhaps no socks at all. Um, there's the the JR symbol, J. Rendenbach, as I mentioned earlier. These do have a 360 degree welt. You can sort of see that with the way that the heel sticks out. And a single oak sole that is uh, treated with the black edge treatment. Next to that, we have the Allen Edmonds Randolph. And these are a good few years older. Um, these are actually one of the three first pair of Shell Cordovan shoes that I had. Um, this is a full penny loafer, or full strap is what they're called. Full strap penny loafer with a hand stitched apron um, compared to this, which is a partial strap. Now, Allen Edmonds also makes, I believe it's called the Kenwood, uh, which is a partial strap with a beef roll. So you have a little bit of a section where the shell cord have been rolled and then um, tied or sewn, I, I guess, on the edge here, but I don't currently have. I used to have a pair of those, but I don't anymore. Um, but anyway, getting back, so this is the Randolph, a few years older. Um, I like the, the edge treatment here on the heel. Um, again, it's hand sewn. This is a, a 360 degree welt around the sole. As you can see, you know, the same J. Rendenbach soles that Allen Edmonds puts on all of their shell cordovan shoes. And then finally, and by the way, both of these two pair are, um, again, the burgundy shell cordovan from Allen Edmonds. This is the way that they currently treat the burgundy. This is the old way, so before they started putting that dye on, this is kind of the standard way that it would come from the Horween factory. Um, both of these shoes are size 12D, that is approximately the, the size that I measure on the Brannock device. And then here's the Eldon uh, version of, of that same shoe, it's the full strap penny loafer. Alden puts theirs on the Aberdeen last. And in the Aberdeen last, the size that best fits me is actually an 11 and a half E. And notice you, you do have that, that heel treatment that's actually called foxing on the back here. That's what I was mentioning earlier with, with the Allen Edmonds. They have that too. Um, full strap penny loafer. Same detail around the front of the shoe. Note that this is machine stitched. 
in the Alden version, so it doesn't stick up and it's not as as bumpy as some of the other shoes, um, such as my Norwegian split toes uh, that I put up a few few days ago that has the, the hand stitching where it kind of sticks up a little more. Um, these are not J. Rendenbach soles, supposedly, although I don't think Alden has ever confirmed or denied where they source their soles, but I'm pretty sure that they're a little bit different, so I'm pretty sure they're not um, Rendenbach, but that's okay. They last very well. This is also a single oak sole. Um, you have the same treatment in the heel. And then this is, of course, finished in Alden's number eight shell cordovan, which is how they finish the same leather that comes from Horween, that same burgundy shell cordovan leather that comes from Horween. So interestingly, um, you can sort of see some of the differences in the ways that these are creasing. I have no reason... Um, I don't know this to be a fact. However, I believe that Alden on their loafers tends to use the thinner pieces of shell cordovan, and that's why you see it creasing the way it does. It's sort of as a harder crease or a thinner line on the crease as compared to Allen Edmonds, which doesn't seem to make that, doesn't attempt to really use the thin shell cordovan on their loafers necessarily. Um, I've had two pair of these over the years, and they both creased, you know, similar to that. Um, and so I think that the leather is just thin. I think they choose the thin pieces to use there because there is some variance in the thickness of the leather as it comes from Horween. Um, I'm not sure that I showed kind of the interior of the shoe. Alden uses the heel pads, much like Alan Edmonds is in their Patriot. Um, Alden also, by the way, has a version like this, um, quite frankly, Alan Edmonds, it appears, copied what Alden was doing in their, what they call the Leisure Hand Sewn, or LHS, shoe, which is going to be very similar to this, this uh, Alan Edmonds Patriot. So I hope you, you uh, appreciate and like, and like this video. If you have questions, let me know. Um, all very good shoes, and I rotate through them quite a bit during the summer. Enjoy.